class, we're going to make today a picture of a collaged paper teddy bear, or just a regular bear if you like. The way we're going to do this is we're going to have glue stick and paper, but we're not going to cut the paper. Instead, we're going to tear the paper because when we tear it, it gives a nice edge on there that kind of looks more like fur on a bear, okay? We wouldn't get that if we cut it with scissors because it would be too clean. See that nice kind of furry looking edge? All right, and we're gonna tear it into pieces and collage it together. So I'm gonna take away this one. We're gonna start with an outline of our bear. So just like a coloring page where we would try to color inside the lines, when we tear our paper, we're gonna try to keep it inside of those lines as much as we can. But first, as always, we have to put our name. And I usually like to have people put their name on the back. But if you're an artist and you like to sign your work on the front, if you do, always put it down at the bottom where you won't cover it up with your artwork. So like I said, everybody's going to get a square piece of paper like this. And we're going to start by tearing the paper. So we're going to need to tear big pieces and little pieces. So I think we should tear the big pieces first to cover up the body and the head. So let's see if we tear that in half. Mm, that's too big. It's covering up those lines. So I'm going to cut that out now. Maybe too big for the head, but that would fit down here. So I can start putting my glue down on the paper. And when it's that dark purple, it's ready to put paper on it. But if you let it go too long, it's gonna turn clear, and then you know it's too dry. You waited too long to try to stick something on it. So I'm gonna start covering it up, okay? So I'm gonna start trying to cover my biggest areas first. So let's start maybe covering up over here. And sometimes you might wanna put a little bit more glue on top of the brown paper. What about this piece? Still a little bit big, maybe. So we'll put it right here. Now when I put it on, I want it to overlap a little bit over that piece. Now we gotta start making smaller pieces. So I'm gonna start cutting up smaller pieces of paper, tearing up smaller pieces of paper. And I wanna color inside those lines. And you can get a little bit of glue on top of that brown paper, that's fine. And let's see, I wanna to try to find a good size that might cover up Let's see, for the ears, this might work right there. And I could put another ear over here. Maybe I'll try to, I'll try to tear something and I'll try to make it round like the ears. And I have to, it's hard to do. And that might work. I'll put that right there for the ear. But now I gotta cover up all of these, I call them bald spots. We don't wanna see any paper at the end showing through. You notice my teddy bear right here, all the bald spots covered up. Can't see any of the paper showing through, Ooh, except for maybe right there. You know what, I'm gonna take care of that right now. I'm gonna tear a small little piece, put a little, little bit of glue right there. There, I took care of that bald spot. Now that's covered up. And we're gonna do the same thing on this one. So let's see, I could cover it right here. Here, I think I need to put a little bit more glue down. And maybe two more pieces. I need something right there and right there. That's getting there. Now I need to start tearing more pieces for the arms and the legs. Let me put some glue down. And let's see. Maybe a little bit too big. I'll tear some off of that. There we go. That works. Now I'm going to start covering that up. 
And I'm gonna keep going until I've filled in the lines and I've tried not to go too far outside the lines. We should see that teddy bear shape. All right, let's get to work.